Second piece of news, Spider-Man has a new home. Amazon really? Prime. <laughs> Amazon uh, Prime has some good superhero stuff. That's like their thing. They got they got the uh, the boys. The boys is a good which show. Which I know though. you didn't like the last season, but I, the I told boys you I'm is done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, but the boys, the boys, a lot of people are still on board. Yeah. I'm iffy on it. And then you have Invincible, which is fantastic. That's what was good. But they've only had one really season, good. so they have plenty of time to screw that up as well. I still think like Amazon, like when I think like Amazon movies, uh, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just like low budget shit. Well, here we have opinion. Spider-Man spinoff series Silk no. lands order at MGM Plus and Amazon with Angela, Angela Kong, Angela Kang as showrunner. Forms part of suite of Marvel series from Sony TV. Sony doesn't have a good history. So. Sony is, is a Sony vehicle. Yeah, I was about to say Sony does not have a good history. So well, they do get uh, they have Into the Spider Verse, which is phenomenal. That's but that's like one in a that's, million. I know, that's I know, like one in a I know. Million. It's yeah, not their strong suit. So here we have a slew of Marvel characters. I like the word slew. I use it when I can. All the D characters are yeah. heading to the small screen after the MGM Plus. The linear network formerly known as Epix and Amazon Prime Video ordered a suite of live action series from Sony Pictures. Uh, the Spider-Man spin-off series Silk Spider Society, which has been in the works for some time, will be the first show to emerge from the pack with The Walking Dead's Angela Kang set as showrunner. The deal's in culmination of a complex web of rights that meant the series will have to debut first on a linear network, in this case MGM+, which is set to be relaunched with its new name in January. Oh my god. So MGM Plus, is that the HBO Max right now? I'm guessing so. So, and, so wait, wait, wait. So Amazon's going to merge with MGM Plus to put out these movies now? What I, so what I think is MGM Plus, they have to f be featured on other things and then they'll go to Amazon Prime. Got you. MGM Plus will have the first window in the US and the series will then air on Amazon Prime Video streaming services in the States. Dear God, I hate I hate all of this. Bro, the streaming war you, crap is That's so lot, exhausting. Uh, I'm just not a fan of Sony, so that with MGM Plus and all this other streaming, it lost me. But knowing how I am, being a movie buff and a TV show buff, I'm definitely gonna watch it. We can do whatever we want. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I just don't care. I really don't. I'm just. Tired. I really don't care. Too much superhero stuff. It's all boring. I just want to see the X Men. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, X Men. I, I guess the, you talking about the new animated show, or are you talking about the that uh, too actually is coming off. Yeah, the, really the new animated that. show going yes. to Disney Plus. It's gonna be pretty good though. Disney Plus is hot trash for shows. Yeah, but I think that I think they're gonna they got the original showrunners yeah, and I some of the and I think they got the original voices too. I'm okay. Not sure, yeah, but maybe. I hope they do. It's just Tara Strong doing the voices of everyone, male <laughs> and female. She, she does like all the voices. <laughs>